Hey guys, what is going on? Jesse Brown here, and I am doing the Dark Lurker for the fifth time. <laughs> it's funny, this was the only time I decided to record, because I thought it would give me a better mindset, you know, it would make me more concentrated, because I know I'd be recording it. And obviously it did, because this is going to be me defeating the Dark Lurker. I haven't actually fought this thing in absolutely ages. And as you can see, I'm using the Black Knight Great Axe. I think it's weak to fire. I think. I'm not sure. I didn't really look it up. I really should have. But I, I'm I'm pretty sure I remember back when I first played Dark Souls 2 that it was weak to fire. And this took me. God, this took me forever. Not that I had particular trouble with the Dark Lurker. It was always just one thing that took me out in one shot. The fire orbs was what took me out every time when there was two of them. One Dark Lurker is pimps. I feel like the only thing which makes this Dark Lurker hard is the fact that it can split into two. Just makes it impossible to beat. I mean look, I'm dominating this one. I don't even I don't even have to try too hard, because even if I get hit by something, I've got plenty of time to heal. I remember when I first faced this I was like, oh my god this is pimps, man. This is like the last boss of the of the um abyss. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. And then it split into two, and I was like... Oh. Well, GG. <laughs> Welcome to Dark Souls. <laughs> Welcome to Dark Souls, guys. <laughs> but yeah, I actually managed to beat the Dark Liquor. I've upgraded my build a little bit. I'm going for a more Hex style. Originally, I was a mage, but I changed it around. I changed it around and gone for the Hexes. Because everybody loved them hexes, man. They're not newbie in the slightest. That's when they change into two. I d and I did horribly because I did not get any shots in while they were changing. And you can get double damage if you get both of them like while they're conjoined but still coming out of each other. When when they're like you know twins, conjoined twins, you can do double damage to them because you can hit them both at the same time. As you can see, I'm just. The main thing is to try and get close to them so they can both do melee attacks. Because melee attacks are so easy to avoid, and I'd rather have both of them up close doing melee attacks than have both of them far away hitting me with all their blooming magic stuff. I'm wearing. I'm just wearing all this stuff for dark defense. I would wear stuff for fire defense, but, you know, brutal honesty. I either dodge those things or they kill me. That's pretty much how it goes. Once again, they're just using melee, which I I think in this one I just get lucky. And now I'm like, die! No! 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 Oof! That's happened to me. Like the first time I did this, they killed me just as they disappeared and had like one hit left. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd share this with you. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.